لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك لبيك والنعمة Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. This is Asiyu Ansar the Call. I'm Rashida Abu Bakar, your regular anchor, welcoming you to another edition of the program. The National Heart Commission of Nigeria, NACAN, has kicked off the airlifting operation of Nigerian pilgrims for the 2024 Heart. This is the climax of the preparation made by the Commission and its stakeholders to ensure a heat free exercise. The inaugural ceremony took place on Wednesday, the 15th of May 2024, at Sa Amadou Bello International Airport, Berlin Kebi, and Vice President Kashim Shetima was a special guest of honor. Our spotlight segment tonight will focus on the inaugural ceremony and the goodwill messages offered by dignitaries that grace the occasion. Still in the package, we have other regular segments such as Making the Heart and Narcon News Diary, which highlight the activities of Narcon and other stakeholders in the heart industry. And on the quiz, a winner has emerged. Details will be announced in the course of the program. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. The program kicks off with the news diary. Top in the lineup, Nigerian pilgrims arrive Medina and Nakon chairman tags advanced team to serve pilgrims diligently. All these are more shortly. Don't go away. <laughs> The first set of Nigerian pilgrims performing this year's Hajj have started arriving Medina. The inaugural ceremony for the commencement of airlift operations for the 2024 Hajj was performed in Kebi by Vice President Kashim Shetima on Wednesday. While welcoming the first batch from Kebi State, Nigeria's acting ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Ambassador Mahmoud Lele Mohammed, congratulated the pilgrims for their safe arrival to Medina. He called on them to abide by the Saudi rules and regulations and also be good ambassadors of Nigeria. Abin de kamu shine ibada. Miwa kasar mu addu'a, miwa kauna mu addu'a saboda yanzu a halin da muke ciki yanzu a Nigeria. A gaskiya wanda duk Allah ba shi iko har yazo shi nan kasar. To dan Allah dan Annabi. Miwa kasar mu addu'a, miwa shuwa gabannin mu addu'a. Mi wa iya lamu di en wamu di kauna mu addu'a. Kuma mu zama good ambassadors of our country, da Allah. On his part, the acting consul general in Jidda, Ambassador Ibrahim Sule Dan Agundi, advised the pilgrims to be patient throughout the Hajj period. Ita ibadah, ba ata chaka, say da hakuri, say anya hakuri. Tana ita ma bangali ni na ibadah. Wanda di yet awra niya haji, tu hok baya fata. Ko mezi faru bazi fata ba. Kamenda an sallah sayi kitwa. Do one day ega kut dan yat ani. Then ye chutad dat ere gat chumu. To baya taradamu. So ayi hak uli. Za aga abu bua. Kala kala. Wanda zi bata makare. To amma. Say kaya hak uli. Den shima. Chikamakon ibadah ni. The chairman of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Nakan. Malam Jalal Ahmed Arabi has appealed to the 2024 Hajj advance team to live up to expectation by serving Nigerian pilgrims assiduously. The chairman made the plea in his farewell message to members of the team on Saturday the 11th of this month at Hajj House. He noted that their role is very crucial and can determine the success or failure of the Hajj exercise. Everybody knows the gateway to a successful 2024 Hajj operation. 
is Medina. And this will be the first point of entrance and the first point of impression and possession. If we get it right, you get it right, then the operation will be successful. But if there is anything to the contrary, then any other thing that will follow will be crisis management. Also speaking, Nakon Commissioner of Planning, Research, Information, Statistics and Library Services, Professor Abubakar Yagawal, and that of Operations, Prince Anofiu Olari Waju, urged members to be good ambassadors of Nakon and assured them of the Commission's support. Speaking on behalf of the team for the 2024 Hajj, Medina Coordinator Ibrahim Mahmoud promised to be diligent in carrying out their duties. The 43-man advance team is made up of 35 Nakon officers and 8 medical personnel. They arrived Saudi Arabia on Sunday to prepare grounds to receive Nigerian pilgrims. With the airlift of Nigerian pilgrims to Saudi Arabia underway, State Pilgrims Welfare Board across the country are getting ready for the airlifting of their pilgrims. In Sokoto State, preparations are almost completed with all the registered pilgrims securing their visas. Chairman of the State Pilgrims Welfare Agency, Aliyu Musa, confirmed this in an interview in Abuja. We have uh, concluded all our visas. I think they remain only less than 10, 15 that are yet to drop. Out of 3,718 intending pilgrims, we have gotten 3,000. 700 pieces up yesterday, which I hope by today the remaining will be ready, inshallah. Ali Musa said the hard tarmac at the Sir Abu Bakr III International Airport has been renovated by the state government in collaboration with Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN. In Oyo State, the Pilgrims Welfare Board has conducted routine vaccination and distributed uniforms to pilgrims, as well as other necessary materials in Ibadan. The board's chairman, Hashim Atere, also announced that visas have been secured for all its intending pilgrims and that the first batch of the state contingent will leave for Saudi Arabia tomorrow, Saturday the 18th of this month. Vaccination of intending pilgrims has also been completed across the 34 local government areas of the inner state. Executive Director of the State Pilgrims Welfare Board, Al Haji Yunusa Abdullahi Dankama expressed satisfaction with the level of preparation so far towards the commencement of airlift operations in the state. <laughs> Meanwhile, the wives of KB State Governor Haji Zainab Nasir and Nafisa Nasir have called on pilgrims from the state to be law abiding and good ambassadors of Nigeria. The first ladies made the appeal when they visited the Hajj camp to see firsthand the level of preparations before the departure of the first batch of pilgrims from the state and also to bid them farewell. So in a kira gareku don Allah ko kasance masu kamun kai masu girmamawa masu sanin ya kamata Alhamdulillah you are still watching as you answer the call a public enlightenment presentation that keeps you abreast of the activities of the National Heart Commission of Nigeria Nakon and other heart related matters the National Heart Commission of Nigeria, NACON, in collaboration with the Kebi State Government and other stakeholders, successfully flagged off the commencement of airlift operations for the 2024 Hatch. For details of the inaugural ceremony, stay tuned for our Spotlight segment. Don't go away. <laughs>
at the Saamadi Bello International Airport, building Kebi, the Kebi state capital, dignitaries and pilgrims converge to celebrate the inaugural flight of Nigerian pilgrims to Saudi Arabia for the 2024 Hajj exercise. This was on Wednesday, the 15th of May, 2024. Prior to the inaugural ceremony, there were 400 pilgrims who came from Jega and Arewa local government areas of Kebi state were subjected to various security checks at the airport. Other dignitaries that graced the occasion were members of the National Assembly, traditional rulers from across Kebi state, as well as federal and Kebi state government officials. Speaking at the occasion, the Vice President, Senator Kashim Shetima, reiterated the commitment of the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in ensuring a seamless and safe Hajj journey for all Nigerian pilgrims. He said the federal government has taken different measures to make the Hajj fair affordable for pilgrims, particularly by subsidizing it with 90 billion naira. You may recall that this year we had a major challenge in announcing the final Hajj fair for the 2024 Muslim pilgrimage due to fluctuations in foreign exchange rates. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu basically walked around the clock to control the downward spiral of our local currency to bring relief to our pilgrims and other Nigerians. A move that eventually succeeded in lowering the peer modestly. The president approved the release of 90 billion naira to subsidize the cost of pilgrimage for this year's Hajj. Therefore, I ask you not to relent in praying for the success of this administration, for the peace and progress of our country that we are proud to call our motherland. Indeed, it is through our collective prayers and individual contributions that our country will beget prosperity. Remember, you are on the holy path until you return. Therefore, your prayers in this sacred station receive quick divine response. While congratulating the pilgrims and wishing them Hajj Mabrur, Vice President underscores the importance of the Hajj to all Muslims. Hajj comes with an opportunity to utilize spiritual practices in cleansing the pilgrims' hearts and souls for a rebirth. It is an exercise where gifts of prosperity that can last an entire life in this world and the hereafter can be opened. Dear pilgrims, the time to accomplish your long awaited dreams of performing Hajj is here. Hajj is a privilege which the believer reigns for throughout his life. Undoubtedly, goodness are those that the Almighty Allah describes as beautiful Rahman, his special guest. In his remarks, Chairman of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Malam Jalal Ahmed Arabi, said the Commission has completed all arrangements for the smooth airlift operation, particularly securing of visas for pilgrims. For the first time in a long time, our team of ITRA Computer Service concluded Hajj registration and visa issuance prior to commencement of airlift. To anyone privy of Hajj arrangement, this is not a small accomplishment. It means we know exactly how many pilgrims we are working for and will make enough provisions for that number. That any pilgrim in need of more dollars can source them on their own. We believe we have made enough accommodation and feeding arrangement that would not warrant the pilgrims spending extra on these amenities. Thus, $500 would suffice in these global cash crunch times. Similarly, we succeeded in moving pilgrims from the far end of Tent D in Muna to a higher up area adjacent to Kam D, that is closer to the Jamrat. Mala Marabi appreciated President Bola Ahmed Tinubu for the support given to Nakan. He thanked Kebi State Governor Nasir Idris and other stakeholders for making the inaugural flight a reality. The chairman further added that. The Hajj Arena is a viable industry enriched with abundant prospects to keep it autonomous if properly managed. The Hajj industry is a field where the intending pilgrim, the industry managers as well as the country and host country all benefit from financially with the proper management in place. As is evident from Hajj Funds management being practiced in a couple of countries, 
Hajj Investment has provided financial backbone to stakeholders by promoting wealth distribution among subscribers and managers alike through low risk investments. Making his remarks, Kebi State Governor Nasir Idris said different steps were adopted to make the journey easy for pilgrims, including supporting them with 1 million naira each for the payment of additional 1.9 million Hajj fare. Kebi State was reported to be the first in the remittance of pilgrims' fare to the National Hajj Commission. Most significantly, Kebi State spearheaded the payment of additional cost of Hajj fare to each of the pilgrims at the rate of 1 million naira per head, as many contribution to the welfare of our pilgrims. Accordingly, all elected officers holders and the political appointees are hereby directed to make appropriate financial contribution to our pilgrims to their respective constituencies. In his message to the pilgrims, the Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence al Haji Saad Abu Bakr, asked the pilgrims to be good ambassadors of Nigeria and prayed for peace in Nigeria. I want to thank the president for his leadership. I want to thank the vice president, thank the governor and all governors of our states who had been standing by to help the common man to survive. We pray for very successful Hajj for our pilgrims, safe flights to Saudi and back to our various destinations at the end of the Hajj and be all able to bless our country, Nigeria. My only addition also, do not forget when you are in the Holy Land, either at the Kaaba or any place where you need to pray, pray for our leaders. The Chairman, House Committee on Muslim Pilgrimage, Honorable Jafar Muhammad, also spoke at the ceremony. I would like to extend my warmest congratulations to the National Hajj Commission, NACON. Kevin State Government, the State Muslim Pilgrimage Welfare Board, all intending pilgrims on the occasion of the 2024 Hajj exercise inauguration. With the ceremony over, the call to board echoed through the terminal. Pilgrims holding their travel documents and belongings filed into the plane, their faces beaming with smiles. While bidding farewell to the pilgrims, the vice president gave each pilgrim 100 Saudi Riyal, which is equivalent to over 40,000 Naira. For the pilgrims, this journey is the peak of a lifetime spiritual desire. They express satisfaction with the level of arrangements put in place. I am very excited to be part of this religious journey because being part of this, this is one of the pillars of Islam. So I am very happy to be part of this religious journey and I feel excited. Speaking in an interview, Chairman Kebi State Pilgrims Welfare Board, Farouk Musa Yaro Enabo, explained more about other flight schedules from the state. We have the flight 10 to 11 flight, and each and every flight is coming back to back flight, which is tomorrow we have flight, next tomorrow we have flight, up to the last flight. As the aircraft taxied, the atmosphere was filled with emotion as officials witnessed the takeoff of the first flight carrying over 400 Nigerian pilgrims from Saamadu Bello International Airport, Irni Kebi, Saudi Arabia. For the pilgrims, the journey of a lifetime has just begun. Soon after the inaugural flight, same day, another aircraft took off from Nnamdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, with over 300 pilgrims from Nasarawa State. Masha Allah, the program is as you and Saad call. Coming up next is Making the Hatch. Stay tuned. <laughs> When performing Hajj, men and women are expected to take part in observing all Hajj rites. But in certain matters, there are separate rules for women. What are these rules of Hajj that are peculiar to women? While the women will dress fully the way it is. What I've been forgotten. When making the Hajj tonight, Malama Halima Said answers these and other questions. She begins by explaining how a woman should seek the permission of her husband or guardian. 
in terms of heart, some women do pay hard fare for themselves. And uh, some, maybe their parent, or her brother, or her uncle. So based on this, most of them, they don't normally care to seek for their husband's permission. We know hard is compulsory. It is an obligatory. But when you look at the relationship that is in between a husband and a wife, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the priority on men. Just like the way I said, you know, we are talking of something that is obligatory, which Allah has ordained that we should perform hajj if you are able to. We know this authority is beyond the husband. But when you look at the relationship between the husband and the wife, then it is very important for her, even if she is the one paying for herself, or her father, or her uncle, or so. She should try to bring him in. Having a mahram is also another requirement for women. If she has husband, maybe the husband may not have that opportunity to be with her. One. And another thing is, maybe she may have her children, she may have her father or brother, those that Islam said they are her, Muharram, which is supposed to travel with them according to the Islamic teachings. But in a situation whereby all these people we are mentioning, they are not able to pay or to travel with her. So just like the way you said, the National Hajj Commission or the Pilgrims Board can serve as her Muharram. What are those rules women are associated with in the state of Ihram? So as for the women, just like the way you said, it is part of the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that uh, they may maybe cut their nights, that is a day or two days before going out to have their intention to take their Ihram. They may do that in their hotels or maybe on their way to the Dus Kulaifa. They should reduce maybe part of their hair in their body accordingly. So even if a woman is under menstruation, it is allowed for her to take her ritual baths too. Despite the fact that women are allowed to wear their normal attire during Hajj, they are however not allowed to wear clothes that are attractive or transparent. Similarly, women are not allowed to jog like men during the first three circumambulations of the Kaaba and at the green light signs during movement between Safa and Marwa. They are not also allowed to do tawaf while in a state of menstruation. Women, as men, are also expected to be of good conduct and fear Allah as they carry out their Hajj exercise. Malama Halima Said advised women to seek more knowledge about Hajj matters peculiar to them. Thank you for participating in our quiz, believing that it is a source of knowledge and education as well as enabling the Muslim Ummah to take part in the social investment program of Nakan. However, because of the hard season, the quiz segments will be rested but will be reinstated when the exercise is over. Up next are greetings from pilgrims in Saudi Arabia to their loved ones back home. Let's hear them. <laughs> Mi ji pake madina jam 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 ko me wala gada 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 go to pu wala This is where we draw the curtain on today's program see you same time same day next week with another edition of the program but before we go Remember that you can send your messages, comments, observations, and questions to our mobile phone number and all the social media platforms. Once again, thanks for watching. My salam. لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا